Hello friends of the Northern Entertainment and welcome to another episode of Emergency Call 112 with the Volunteer Fire Department DLC. I cannot believe the name of the street that I'm driving on right now. <clears throat> okay, you are driving where? <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, hope you guys have a fantastic day. And uh, thanks everybody for joining me here today we are going to do our next part of the training i have no idea uh, i should maybe turn the engine off though oh boy it's getting better and better here <laughs> there we go okay engine is off we're gonna leave we're gonna close the doors it seems like a good idea yeah, like I said, hope y'all doing well. And uh, we are ready here to go to our boss up there. Seems like you guys really like that volunteer fire department DLC. I do too, to be honest with you. Um, I'm probably going to have a call out too. That we're gonna attend to but uh, yeah thank you so much for watching guys and thank you for liking the videos ah, hello. there's many different ways that you can uh, that you can help the channel and the easiest one is watching and enjoying the content and if you do that then yeah that's all I'm asking mit der Praxis auf dich. All right, so apparently more theoretical training. Ah, uh, fireground tactics. Yeah, look at that, the triangle. Mm -hmm. Fuel. Oxygen and ignition. Yeah. So I did skip um, what he all said. It was all rather interesting. Um, well, rather interesting, I should say. Um, it was uh, very accurate, the things that he said. But of course, in a video, and especially if it's only in writing, it's only so interesting. So I decided that we're gonna be. Uh, skipping that part and oh look there's the cool room it's too bad that you can't read that oh, actually can you no but yeah unfortunately that is uh, a little bit dry subject matter so we are now learning um basics on the fire ground Zum Teil der Hi there. Mm -hmm. Schön, dich hier Heute yes, geht es nice to see you too. Praxis. Daher werden die Kameraden, die schon beim Auto stehen, ebenfalls mitmachen. Für sie ist das eine gute Übung, aber für dich eine wichtige Ausbildung. Also gut aufpassen. Die Sachen, die du hier lernst, können später Leben retten. Lass uns direkt loslegen. Alright. I have the feeling this is gonna go up in flames. Wir simulieren heute einen Kleinbrand. Mm -hmm. Dazu haben wir hier ein Übungsfeuer aufgebaut. Deine yep, that's Aufgabe what I thought. Sein, diese Paletten im Angriffstrupp mit einem Hohlstrahlrohr zu löschen. Da hier eine dringende Brandgefahr droht, ist das erste Kommando Angriffstrupp zur Brandbekämpfung über den Hof vor. Also setzt du mit den Kameraden einen Verteiler. Und dann kann direkt das erste Strahlrohr vorgenommen werden. Na los, beeil dich. Das Feuer wartet nicht auf dich. All right, let's go. We're gonna put the gated Y down. We're gonna put the gated Y down. And we're gonna do so. Du bitte hier. Just so like that. Die zum liegt, du dir das All right. Um, where is the... Establish the host connection, okay. 
I have to keep in mind that I don't do anything what they don't tell me. I'm gonna be better at that eventually. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hollow jab. Wait for further instructions. Ah, look at that. They are bringing the sea holes into place. Alright. Während du dich ganz auf das Löschen konzentrierst, geht es natürlich rundherum auch weiter. Nebenbei baut der Wassertrupp eine Wasserversorgung zur Pumpe auf. Und der Schlauchtrupp sichert den Einsatz auf, da wir auf unserem Alright, here we go. By the way, we have two spray patterns that we can use. It's really rather int rather well. It's easy, really. You can see when there's still something that's hot because it will instantly start to uh, to steam. This is good enough. Ah, fantastisch. Yes. Du hast die Gefahrenquelle beseitigt. Das war der erste Teil. Excellent. Folg mir. Wir haben noch was anderes vorbereitet. First part is done. <laughs> Now what? Oh. Fun. Wir haben heute noch eine weitere Übung für die Kameraden aufgebaut. Aha. Dabei geht es um die Personenrettung aus diesem Unfallfahrzeug. Komm mit. Wir schauen uns gemeinsam an, wie so ein Einsatz aussehen kann. Okay. Die zu rettende Person wird heute von unserer treuen Rettungspuppe gespielt. Die Kameraden nennen sie trauma -Zap. Bei der technischen Hilfeleistung bleiben die Grundaufgaben der Trupps ungefähr erhalten. Der Angriffstrupp versucht schnellstmöglich die Gefahrenquelle zu beseitigen. Dazu müssen sie das Auto öffnen, um trauma -Zap zu retten. Alright. Die Kameraden unterstützen dabei, indem sie Geräte bereitlegen und einfache Aufgaben übernehmen. Gute Vorbereitung rettet auch hier Leben. Daher gibt es eine Plane, auf der wir Werkzeuge bereitlegen, die eventuell benötigt werden. Um die schweren hydraulischen Geräte zu bedienen, wird ein spezieller Lehrgang vorausgesetzt. Bis du diesen abgeschlossen hast, kannst du bei der Gerätebereitstellung mit anpacken. Hilf den Kameraden dabei, die Plane zu bestücken. Alright. Well, we're gonna grab, no, we're not gonna grab the deployment plan, we're gonna be grabbing the deployment tarp. I think I have to send a couple of messages to Carsten later, because their translation kinda, um, yeah. Look, here we are. Whoop. Pick up Halligan tool, drop Halligan tool. There's a blanket, there is the cutter and the spreader. Müssen wir noch eine sehr wichtige Sache tun, bevor wir mit den Geräten am Fahrzeug arbeiten können. Wir sichern das Auto mit Bremsklötzen davor, wegzurollen. Und klemmen zur Sicherheit noch die Batterie ab. Dies dient der Sicherheit der verunfallten Personen, aber auch unserer eigenen. Ja, exactly. You want to crib the whole thing for sure. So that's what we're gonna do now. Einsatz auch ein Trupp um den Brandschutz. Dies ist besonders wichtig, da die Person im Fahrzeug bei einem Brand nicht einfach weglaufen könnte. Alright, oh, we're gonna be sort of kind of um, do some cribbing, but a very basic 
the most basic form of cribbing, like where we're just putting some chuck blocks down. There we go. Now they will go ahead, open the hood, and then we're gonna disconnect the. Um, we're gonna disconnect the batteries. There we go. Next up, uh, patient gets covered. Besonderer Schwerpunkt eines Einsatzes ist das Retten und Schützen von Leben. There we go. Open that. Hier ist ein wichtiger Punkt, mit der zu rettenden Person zu reden. Dabei kann man am besten erklären, was man tut und wie man die Person befreien wird. Das kann helfen, eine Person zu beruhigen und Sicherheit vermitteln. Ja, yeah, what, what he says there basically is if you talk to your patient um, if you talk to the person they will be calmer and it's really it's true um Hol doch mal unseren armen Trauma Sepp aus dem Auto und bring ihn hier zum Ablageplatz. When you have uh, eh, eh, eh. Where do they want him? I guess I could just put him here. Yeah. So verletzt sieht er gar nicht aus. No. Da brauchen wir keinen Rettungswagen, oder? Gute Arbeit heute. Hilf doch eben den Kameraden beim Aufräumen. Okay. Du dich umziehen und dich beim Schulungsleiter melden. Well, this was the call and I have a feeling that our next call out might be possibly a car accident. But we will find out. But yeah, to get back to what he was saying, um, it is true that if you are at an MBA and you have a patient that is really, really nervous and whatnot, it is really, really important to uh, um, to go ahead and talk to the patient tell them what you are doing um, tell them each and every single step that really a you will make sure that you don't forget anything important b um, oh you gotta be kidding me um, b it will show him that there's or her um, that there's competent people doing the deed and it really it it, um, it calms people down there is no doubt about that Beautiful! All done! Almost all done! La 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 la. What's happening? Nothing. La la la. Oh, I wonder. Let's cook. La 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 la. What's that? Alarm. Oh oh! Look at that. We have a call. Alarm. All right. Um. Well, let's go. Looks like a container fire that we have to contend with, so let's not waste any time. Well, you guys know this part. I will see you at the station.
my face right here. Does it seem wet? Kind of? Mm hmm. Okay, good. Oh. See, like. Of course. Recording. All right, we're in the station, ready to go. Yes, let's get to it. Wait a second, I'm sitting on that chair, don't I? Oh, oops. I sat on the wrong chair. Oh well, I think we'll survive. Container fire, one, oh, oh, yep, yep, I definitely can see the smoke. All right. So, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna close the door and I'm gonna open the compartments because all compartments get opened. Alright, now what? What do you want me to do? over there I wonder if they are okay with me now no they're not okay uh, I guess first order of business is get some water on it all right oh there we go I'll set up the standing pipe uh, because that's always fun. Okay, put that in. <laughs> Wonderful, good job. Collector head is on there already. And we got that done. And it looks like our colleagues are already done with this little bit container fire here. Yeah? Wow. That was really anticlimactic. <laughs> Alright, let's close this. Wow, all this for two seconds of action. All right, we're gonna close this. And we're gonna close that. And that goes there. And we can mount the truck. Wow. 
Wonderful. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think this will do it for this episode. We will be back very soon with more Emergency Call 112 Part 2. The Volunteer Firefighter Department DLC. Until then, I say thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and God bless.